how is everybody doing today and in this video we are going to be talking about someone i kind of forgot to make a video about in regards to if they're worth summoning on on their rerun and so we're going to be going over all of their best teams if they have any still if they're still usable in the meta if you should summon on it of course with all the other surrounding options because yes Lord just kind of in a hot seat right now only because yes we do have better sustains in the game right now with Hoho and Fushwin ever since his last banner which was his release banner and now we even have another sustain coming out with Adventurine being another top tier sustain from what it looks like and we also have Gallagher coming in Akron's banner who's going to be a debuffer and a sustain at the same time which is going to be super exciting to look at when it comes to all the sustainers coming into the game now Lord as I said before is in a very weird predicament at the current moment because not only is he sandwiched with both Acheron and also Adventurine and Jing Liu around him. I really want to look specifically at just the sustainers because I think the DPS should be compared with the DPS and same with the sustains with the other sustains. But ever since Luocha came out when he ended up releasing, which was in what version 1.1 all the way up until now, there's been a lot of changes and the things that made him unique and the things that made him very strong don't really go forward into the meta that we have right now in 2.1 so looking at his traces for the most part a lot of you know what he does for the most part because it is part of his kit i guess you could say in regards to how skill point positive he is that is the very big plus that he has because he never has to use his skill because he has his auto heal from his skill that comes every so often and same thing goes for his field that heals for a great amount whenever you attack going really well with follow-up attack characters and going well with very sp hungry characters as well those are his main stick for when it comes to the most part and he also has cc res and a bunch of other things like cleansing and also helping out with off-field healing in every way shape or form this was the cool thing about luocha and it made him absurdly busted at the time in version 1.1 but now that we're in version 2.1 we are we're about to be in 2.1 we have a lot of different sustainers right now that are kind of in the highest of tiers when it comes to what they provide and that goes into characters like ho ho with how amazing she is with her energy and attack boosting while also keeping you sustained while keeping you alive and also offering a cleanse every single turn as long as your stacks are up same thing with uh, Fushwin with being able to give you crit rate and also a max HP boost and able to heal and also to mitigate and redistribute damage with also having CC prevention. Dear Lord, there's a lot of stuff that we have with these sustainers. And then we not only that have Lynx, who is a free to play sustain that we do get from having Pure Fiction. And she's just absolutely amazing for a lot of different teams in regards to the characters that are in the destruction or preservation path because she can add taunt something that no other sustain has at the moment with her skill and that is a really cool thing to have and not only that she also has cc prevention in one of her eidolons and for her ultimate it is a full team cleanse so yes there's a lot of stuff that you can look forward to when it comes to all the sustainers that are in the game versus Luocha ever since his release and right now if i had to give an actual 100 of a statement that i believe in and how i would carry my own free to play account because yes i have started a free to play account make sure to like and sub and all that type of stuff because we're going to be showing a bunch of showcases with akron and also with my free to play account which i was just talking about we are streaming that on twitch at twitch.tv so make sure to go by and follow and say hi all that type of stuff after this video but let's go ahead and go back into it with what i said about Luocha is that I think his rerun came a little too late and was honestly very put in the worst situations because yes, we now have Fushwin, we now have Ho Ho, we now have Adventurine coming out, we have Gallagher on Akron's banner who looks to be a really great sustain with us looking into the showcase videos that we see on YouTube. Of course, I can't show anything in regards to how Gallagher works. You're gonna have to go find that on your own uh, in terms of his gameplay. But yes, he has off-field healing. He has a cleanse at E2, which you're probably going to be getting. Hopefully, I'm not gonna say guaranteed because not everyone is guaranteed Gallagher E2. If they're going for Akron, maybe you're unlucky, maybe you're super lucky. I have no idea but that is a possibility that he does have a cleanse he has off field healing he adds debuffs so yes he's going to be best in slot for certain teams like Akron, like oh, what's the other guy's name dr ratio and these are going to be some of their best sustainers because he has the ability to add debuffs and extra break damage so that can make him a really cool sustain with ruan bay with the massive amounts of numbers that she's able to put out with her break damage so there's just so many things right now in the game that kind of put Luocha in the backseat. And when people talk about, oh, we have SP consumption characters that would really, really like Luocha, I would just like to say that, in my personal opinion, Sparkle kind of circumvents this. And even so, 
I do think other characters in the game also circumvent this because it's not like we're in 1.1 again where we don't have any good builds for these characters. We don't have these Omega speed builds that we've been talking about ever since the game started. And now that our accounts are built up to this way with us getting the massive amount of relics that we have now with a bunch of speed boosts, with the speed set, all that type of stuff. There's just no reason to try to force a sustainer to be just sp positive and i give you every other resource that you could possibly get when you have fushwin giving crit rate cc prevention all that type of stuff ho ho with her attack her off field cleanse her energy boost and then now we have adventurine with crit damage boost and able to damage people debuff people and also give you a buff there's just so many things that these new sustainers are doing that it just doesn't make sense at the current moment to go ahead and go for locha when you have certain supports that do allow you to be sp positive for whatever you're doing pella is omega skill point positive and can reduce a fat ton of shred res or not shred res but defense res um onto the enemy same thing with ting yun same thing with link same thing with ho ho same thing with fushuin all these characters are skill point positive you do not and i don't know why this is a assumption that so many people need to make you do not have to skill point every single time with these characters fushwin i could say yes but she's like two plus skill point positive one plus it's fine you can live with that ho ho you don't need to skill every single time her stacks are gone it's just a matter of fact you can normal attack as much as you need and when someone gets debuffed you can cleanse them with ho ho or you can do a preemptive one and then she has one skill point extra that you're going to have when she ends up losing her stacks there's a lot of different ways that these characters now are just super skill point positive including someone like Rua may as well who just puts their field down and leaves it there forever she's skill point positive a lot of the new sustains are skill point positive and other surrounding supports are going to also be skill point positive so there's just right now no uniqueness to locha that all these other sustainers have and i do understand that newer players are looking for a sustain as early as locha but i promise you and something that you should look forward to and looking at when it comes to locha versus adventurine and wanting a sustain now missing one moc worth of jades which is around 150 100 something or 200 is not going to make or break the almost what is a thousand sixteen thousand investment that you need to be able to reach that guaranteed five star that you would have waited just another couple of weeks and would have gotten a really high tier sustainer like uh adventurine who's able to do the multitude of things that he wants to do and also have links drop on the banner as well who takes up locha's favorite teammates such as blade and also clara because that extra time that you add on to blade and that extra time that you add on to clara are miles apart of having no clara i mean not having clara but not having no links versus having locha so there's a lot of different things that locha just right now gets pushed away to the side because of all these brand new supports that we had ever since his release so is it realistic an option to be able to summon for him now i would say just wait for adventurine to come out wait for his banner to come out i do think locha right now in terms of what he's able to produce when it comes to abundance units it's just not going to be worthwhile in regards to all the characters coming out whether it be you know not having the buffs that he could provide while he does have the debuff or the buff take away from the enemies Locha just does that and that's it. He is nice with the skill point positive. He is a really comfy character. And lastly, if you really like Locha for being Locha, if you're a Honkai Impact player that really likes auto or you just like his design, go ahead and pull for him if you want. He's still a great character. Don't get me wrong. He can still keep you alive no matter what. He's still a very great sustain. But when you're trying to look at cost effectiveness versus a new sustainer who's always going to get better and better as time gets on with adventuring Fushuin and also Ho Ho all being the top of the top providing something that they shouldn't be doing versus someone like Luocha who's just there to keep you alive which is everyone's goal in the sustain path then having Luocha and going ahead and summoning for Luocha might not be the best pick for you. So I do say in my honest opinion go ahead probably pick up Gallagher from Acheron's banner if you're going to be summoning on Acheron and if you really want to sustain not only do you have Gallagher right there you have links from Pure Fiction as a free to play and also links from Adventuring's banner as well so you can stock up on multiple sustains while also being able to get what you want exactly and they both carry the same element so it's not like you're going against one element or another they're both imaginary eventually he's 100 percent much better than getting a uh, luocha and then gallagher kind of takes luocha spot in many other instances while also being best in slap for some debuffer teams and then links is good for blade and also having clara on the team because of the aggro and then that's pretty much it. I just think his rerun came a little bit too late in terms of maybe if it was after Fu Shuin before Ho Ho, or maybe even after Ho Ho, maybe it was possible for him to be able to get some summons out. 
But right now, there's just no world in where I would recommend getting Luocha. Now that all these really crazy sustainers are out and moving into 2.0 and we already see Aventurine being as amazing as he is, imagine the next sustainer. Imagine the next uh, abundance unit or preservation unit besides Aventurine. So that's pretty much going to be it. I'm very excited for 2.1 for sure. But when it comes to Luocha's rerun, I'm going to have to say rip to my boy because I do love my Luocha. I wish I used him a little bit more. But ever since Ho Ho came out, ever since Fu Shuin came out, ever since Lynx came out, and now with Gallagher and Aventurine, I play him less and less and less. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate y'all so much. And that's going to be it. So see you on the next one. And peace.